At the Amansky Law Firm, we believe everyone deserves a second chance. So now you've gotten your petition, your certificate of eligibility, your affidavit, and your order all properly filled out and properly served on all the different agencies. You have the original file with the clerk of court and you're waiting for your answer. What happens next? Well, very simply is once the state attorney gets that petition and the law enforcement agencies, they will look at it to see if they feel that they have a position on, on the petition. They're either going to say no position or they'll agree that it should be expunged, which is not very likely, or they'll object. How long does that take? Well, if you're doing it yourself, you got to realize that you're unrepresented. So the state attorney can't call you up or send you an email giving what their response is. So more than likely, what will happen is you'll get a response from the state attorney's office and sometimes the law enforcement agencies stating what their position will be. If they object to it, you know then at that point you may very well be in for a fight because most judges, when they get an objection, are not always going to grant it. In fact, in most cases they won't. And in fact, they may set your matter for a hearing in front of the judge. If you get that, don't panic. If you're unrepresented, maybe you get a little nervous, but make sure, you know, you realize that the judge is probably not outright denying it, but the judge is going to want to talk to you, and you're going to need to get prepared for that hearing. What are you going to need for that hearing? You need to show up well-dressed with a resume, some witnesses who can testify to your character, an employer who can testify that your work history, a priest, a teacher, anyone that can tell this judge that you're worthy of getting it expunged. And be prepared for tough questions by the judge. Judge may ask about the charge. Judge may ask about why you think it's necessary to get this expunged. The judge may challenge you about some other unlawful behavior that you may have committed but were not convicted of. Because remember, if you were convicted of any charge, you would not have gotten that certificate of eligibility. In our office, what we do is we typically wait for a response from the state attorney's office. Unlike a person that's unrepresented and doing it themselves, if we get that response, we're able to then send an email or a phone call and communicate directly with that prosecutor. Sometimes the prosecutor will object, and once we find the basis for the objection, we bring up other information to the prosecutor and they'll withdraw the objection, which gives you a better chance of getting that record expunged. If we can't reach agreement with the state attorney's office and they just are going to object, or the law enforcement agency objects, then we get you ready for your hearing in our courtroom. And we think it's so important that you have a drive-through run before you get to testify in front of the judge.